About two years ago, I gave you guys a tour of my entertainment closet and I'll have a link down below in my description box if you guys want to see it. Since then, I've made a few changes that has helped me to not only be more productive, but it also is a time saver for me as well. So I want to share with you some of my tips and tricks that has helped me and maybe it may help you too. to my channel I want to welcome you if you're not new you may have seen how I use this over-the-door shoe rack to store my cloth napkins tablecloths and runners this has been working out so great for me it's a great way to store and see your pretty table linens and it fits right over the door and it's not in the way when you first walk into the right of my closet I added this vertical wall file organizer to the side of the wall Although it's used for organizing files, I'm using it to keep my iPad mini and my notebook pad to take notes when I'm party planning. As most of you know, I love to entertain and as you can see, I love color. Lots of color. The only thing that has changed since my last video was that I got more stuff. So staying organized is an absolute must. Having this many items is a true challenge because you have to get creative to fit all of these items into one closet. So let me show you some of my tips and tricks. Think out of the box. I'm using this makeup storage organizer to house small items such as napkin rings, beverage tags, food labels, individual salt and pepper shakers, mini tasting utensils, you name it. You can fit a lot of those small items that can sometimes get lost. It's not super big so it's not taking up much space and it's clear so you can see everything you have. Why not take full advantage of your shelving by using a cabinet shelf? Most of us use them in our kitchen cabinets, and I got a set of three for under $8 at Walmart. It's helpful and it's practical to make use of the empty airspace on your shelving. They also help to elevate your dishes and makes it less of a hassle of getting one when you want one. I love using plate stands and tabletop easels. These are great for showing off those beautiful dishes. It gives it height and visual interest. Here I stacked a set of dishes and placed one on top of an easel and sat that on top of the stack. Again, here I'm using a mini one to stand a dish that goes to my tea for one set. In the back, I'm using a small box to give my teapot some height. When things are too high up, they tend to get lost. Doing these tricks allows me to enjoy them. Here I'm using a cake stand to place my massive pumpkin bowl on top. This gives it height so I can place smaller items underneath. Make use of that corner space. I'm using a tiered stand to house my silver dessert cups and teacups. The most enjoyable part of styling and decorating our home is creating vignettes. Grouping similar items by color, size, or style, it makes it so much easier to find your items when you need it. I have subtle vignettes throughout my home because I really do enjoy doing them. It helps to give your home that lived in look. So when I have to do a tablescape, at moment's notice, there's not much time to think about anything. It's all already done for me. No searching or looking for what I need. It's all right here. Wondering what did I do with all of that silver? I still have it. I only picked a few staple pieces I have here that I use only on occasions and the others I mainly use for Christmas. So it only makes sense to keep it with Christmas. Once again, I have this shelf set up to make it look like as if you were in a store. Here's my white and gold collection. Some pieces were gifts, others I picked up along the way. I have a thing for unique pieces as if you guys can't tell. It's a mix of formal and casual and what I love about it is durability. It can be used on a daily basis. 
I have some exciting news. On my blog at BeMyGuestWithDenise.com, I will be opening a shop. It will be my home collection where I will be selling anything home related. So here is a sneak peek of a few of the items that I will be selling. Now, this will be a soft launch, so quantities will be limited. So be sure to sign up on my blog at Be My Guest with Denise to get email alerts so you will not miss out on anything that I will be selling. You guys, this is Tamika McFall. She's totally responsible for my blog makeover and branding me. I couldn't be more pleased with how she helped me see a vision for me. And I cannot thank you enough, Tamika, for your patience, your time, and all the work you've done to make my vision come to life. I thank you so much, my darling. So if you have a blog or if you're in need of uh, helping yourself get branded, she's the one you want to go to. Trust me, you guys, she's that good. So I will have her contact information down below. And you can also follow her on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at Glamfident Life. So I want to thank you, Tamika, and I want to thank you all for watching. 